Hi, it's Kerry Fitzgibbon here, and here's an instructional video today on how you can export your mini chat subscribers into Facebook to build a custom audience that you can remarket to. So, first of all, you've got to go into mini chat, then you go down to your audiences. You can filter them depending on what condition, so whether they've opted in through a certain uh, something something or whether they're tagged or whether they've subscribed to a sequence. So if we went tag, we can go in here and have a look at you know the different tags and whatever else. But I'm actually just going to upload everyone for just for this demonstration. So we're gonna go bulk actions here and we're going to export the PSIDs. Now this PSID is a number that has been, or a page identification number that Facebook has allocated to each person. So we're gonna download these subscribers make sure that they are there and I'm going to name then we want to go over to Facebook go into business manager or ads manager in my account here I'm going to go into audiences we're going to create a custom audience And this one here is going to be a customer file and a file that doesn't include lifetime value. Select the upload. Now it was directly from customers. You get a choice from, from customers and partners, directly from customers from partners. We're going to go directly from customers here and we can go and upload file or just drag it across, which is what I'm going to do in this instance. And once that's done, go next. Now here are all the PSID numbers. We're going to click on this and we're going to go right down to Facebook page user ID. Now we're going to have to enter the Facebook page ID. Now there's a couple of different ways that we can get this, but the most simplest way is to go back to your business manager. I go into business settings. Select the page, and it's this ID number up here. We're going to go back and enter it here. Push enter and add one page. Upload and create. Then of course that you can uh, create a look-alike audience of this as well. And there is a brand new audience here which is create a household audience. If you know what someone has opted in and, uh, and then you want to get to the rest of the family and stuff. Then we go done. And now we're all done. Now we can use this audience. Um, we can create a look-alike of this audience. Click on this. Create a look-alike. Select one in Australia, let's just say, or USA, or anywhere in fact. 1% look alike, and then you can go 2%, and 3%, and so on. Okay, let's jump back into Minichat and automate the post process. So now that you do have your custom audience of uh, Minichat subscribers in Facebook, we can actually automate it so that every single time a new subscriber is added, uh, we can uh, put, it can uh, just then automatically transfer through or zap across to Facebook and keep building up that custom audience. So first and foremost, we need to activate the ads in here. So you go to Growth Tools. You go to ads and allow. And this activates us to be able to start building up those custom audiences. So I'm going to go down to growth tool here. And I'm going to select a new growth tool. I'm going to make up like I'm doing an ad one. Just going to add that in here. I'm just going to call this test. 
automation audience. Now let's just say this is uh, a, a promotion that I'm running to get people along to a Facebook marketing retreat, let's just say, okay? So I would have built this one out. Now this is the starting step, obviously. So what we want to do here is rather than get them to go there, so every single time they opt in for our starting step, we perform an action. Now the action will be Facebook custom audience. Select the action and the custom audience that I'm going to add it to. So for this it will be all my mini chat subscribers which will be this one here and save. So every single time you do a new growth tool that's one of your actions then of course you do the rest of it as you would normally build out a sequence but that's how they automatically every single time someone clicks on this they are added as a subscriber to that particular custom audience. So you can do these custom audiences on the back of tags as well, um, but that will be for another video. So this is how you automate the process. Uh, this is how you download custom, this is how you download your MediChat subscribers onto Facebook to produce a custom audience that you can retarget to. And then from then on, every single time you do a growth tool, you can tag them and uh, and automate the process moving forward. Hope you've enjoyed this video and it helps you build your business using Facebook Messenger marketing.
Okay, let's jump back into ManyChat and automate the post process. So now that you do have your custom audience of uh, ManyChat subscribers in Facebook, we can actually automate it so that every single time a new subscriber is added, uh, we can uh, put, it can uh, just then automatically transfer through or zap across to Facebook and keep building up that custom audience. So first and foremost, we need to activate the ads in here. So you go to Growth Tools. You go to ads and there'll be a little button in here. I don't have it anymore, but that will go allow. Okay, so let me show you on another page. We go into growth tools ads and allow and this activates us to be able to start building up those custom audiences. Now we want to pop them into a flow so we go into flows here and then I have built out a test flow here um, just the flow and then an action. So the action, perform an action, action here, and right down the bottom here will be Facebook custom audience. Select the action, select the ad account, Choose the custom audience. So this one here is going to be the mini check subscribers here and save. So then what you can do is you can go out to one of your flows or uh, um, that you have built out. So we'll go to flow here and let's go into one of the ones that I've got here, which is my um, Facebook ad library one. It's just a campaign that I've just started running uh, very, very recently. And I might put in here that uh, in this flow, go edit the flow. And I might say that so every person that comes in here and clicks...
So I'm going to go down to growth tool here and I'm going to select a new growth tool. I'm going to make out like I'm doing an add one. Just going to add that in here. I'm just going to call this test automation audience. Now let's just say this is uh, a, a promotion that I'm running to get people along to a Facebook marketing retreat, let's just say, okay? So I would have built this one out and I would have put that code on the website and so on, okay? I'm just going to test. Okay, it's all good. Save. Now, this is the starting step, obviously. So what we want to do here is, rather than get them to go there, so every single time they opt in for our starting step, we perform an action. Now, the action will be Facebook custom audience. Select the action. The ad account. And the custom audience that I'm going to add it to. So for this, it will be all my mini chat subscribers, which will be this one here. And save. So every single time you do a new growth tool, that's one of your actions. Then, of course, you do the rest of it as you would normally build out a sequence. But that's how they automatically, every single time someone clicks on this, they are added as a subscriber to that particular custom audience. So you can do these custom audiences on the back of tags as well, um, but that will be for another video. So this is how you automate the process. Uh, this is how you download custom this is how you download your MediChat subscribers onto Facebook to produce a custom audience that you can retarget to. And then from then on, every single time you do a growth tool, you can tag them and, uh, and automate the process moving forward. Hope you've enjoyed this video and it helps you build your business using Facebook Messenger marketing.